Do not gossip. When you're not around, they're probably going to talk about you. And that's one of the most effeminate things that a man can do. That's one of the worst things that a man can do. Women do it because that's what women do. Yo, Elliot. Yo, Elliot, I don't have many friends, but those I have just won't grow up and become men. It's not in their interest and they're not good for me. I know the people you surround yourself with are impacting your life big time and your future. I like being alone, but the journey can be very lonely at times. Should I cut them out of my life? What's your take on that? So I know that sounds, that sounds tough, right? It's like, they're your friends. They've probably been your friends your whole life and you're growing up and they're not. I think what happens over time is they just fall away. And it's not even something that you have to like actively do. You say, should I cut them out? I think as you just outgrow them, just like a pair of shoes, you don't have to, you don't have to think too much about it. It just don't fit no more. And so you start wearing it less and less. And it's going to be the same thing with your friends as you outgrow them and you grow into new interests and new ways, behaviors, ideas, uh, and character over time. It's not even, it's not even going to be like a, a hard thing. It's going to be simply, it don't fit no more. And by and by you will attract more and more people that resonate with the new you. It's the toughest thing though, too, because when you're growing up, you're changing and the people around you aren't, they can be an anchor. They could, they could hold you back. They could, they could slow you down and you might not want to be negative towards them. You not, might not want to, you know, have bad blood between the two of you, but at the same time, you need to be conscious of it. You got to be conscious of your language you're around them. You got to be conscious of things that you think about and talk about when you're around them. You got to be th uh, conscious of the activities you engage in with you around them. And you have to ask yourself, is this, is this leading me closer to my strongest self or not? And here's the other thing too. They might not be ready to grow up, but they may be willing to watch you grow up. And they may at some point recognize you as an inspiration and they may start saying to themselves, you know, I see Mike doing these, doing these new things, thinking these new ways, making these better decisions for his life. And I'm seeing how his life is, is changing and I want better for me in my life. And so maybe I should take a, take a, yeah, lead by example. Maybe I should take a page out of his playbook. Right. You don't have to lecture. You don't have to chastise. You don't have to tell them anything. You just live that life. And another thing people will start to notice, too, is when you say no. Right. And you don't you don't, you don't owe anybody an explanation when you say no. So if you find that your friends are like, hey, uh, you know, say you guys went out for dinner and the next step is always let's go to the bar, boys. And you say, nah, you know, I enjoy having dinner with you guys, but I'm going to go home. The first thing that's going to happen is there's going to be a, a sense of shock. Whoa, wait, what? What do you mean? Why aren't you going? And then they're going to try to like, uh, like tease you, right? And, 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 and just like cajole you into doing the things that they're doing. But you don't, you don't owe them any explanation. You just say, hey, I'm just not into it today. I'm not into it. You guys have fun. That's all right. And then by and by, they're going to start being curious. They're going to start wondering. They're going to notice you're not there. And they're going to look around at each other and they're going to be like, well, Mike must be doing something better. He must be up to something that's, that's better than what we're doing. And they'll start questioning themselves. Again, I keep saying it's tough because you don't know. Some people, if they are on the ascending path, they'll question themselves. They'll question themselves. And some people, when they're on the descending path they'll ridicule you and it depends on what kind of friends you have if they're the type of guys that they're really good guys they'll see the error in their ways and by and by they'll question themselves and they'll look to you as an inspiration um but this is also a litmus test for whether or not they're good friends 
if they really start denigrating you, they really start tearing you down. They start saying, oh, he changed. We don't like him anymore. He's our frenemy, right? Then you know what you discover? Man, these guys really weren't my friends to begin with. I thought you were my friends, but you're not my friend. Because a friend, friends, friends lift friends up, especially when, they, when they're trying to go high places. They don't drag you down. Friends don't drag friends down. And I watch when the guys, some of the guys I hang out with, right? I don't consider anybody a friend. I no longer consider anybody friends. I don't have no friends. But some of the guys I be around sometimes, I recognize when they do that to each other. And I think it's, 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 it's real immature. Tear, you know, tearing each other down, especially when somebody's trying to do something good and they're like, oh, look at this guy, right? I've seen them do that. I don't engage. Here's another thing. Just throwing out, throwing it out there for you. Uh, do not gossip. I know this kind of seems like it's going left field, but when you're not around, they're probably going to talk about you. And that's one of the most effeminate things that a man can do. That's one of the worst things that a man can do. Women do it because that's what women do. They they get. That's how they know each other. That's how they know one one another. They talk right, especially behind each other's back. It's weird, but this is 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 uniquely feminine but when a man does it it's effeminate right and you guys know the difference between feminine and effeminate feminine is 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 a woman's true nature effeminate was when a man's acting out of his true nature and behaving more like a woman and so uh if you know you are around and maybe one of your other friends are not there or they're trying to raise up or they're doing something that you might not understand you let him be. You say, you know, God bless his heart, and you let him be. And you let him. And you don't. If the other guys are talking about him, they have something to say. You just turn away. You just turn away. You walk away. Do not engage in that conversation. Right. That's one of the worst things you could do. Uh, and if you're doing it, guarantee they're doing it to you. And so that's it, dude. I hope that helps. Yup. Done. Yo, it's your bro Elliot. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you ought to know that it was a clip. From the coaching sessions that I have every week with my King Transformation students where among other things we get together for about four or five hours a week and we talk on things related to becoming kings in our lives in fitness business and with women if that sounds like you and you want to join a like-minded group of men who are growing stronger every day in every way in this degenerate age then it's real simple just follow me on Instagram and then DM me the word King K-I-N-G me and my team will get back to the details and see if you qualify to join us. Hope to see you at our next meeting. Done.